Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Do you folks like that intro? If so, hey, make sure you guys hit that like button and let the team know that you appreciate that shiznick. So what's going on today? Well, you guys have been asking for it and now we've brought it to the table. That's right, the Ferrari AMD 9590 system has finally arrived and you guys can see it's totally looking bitchin'. Now, for all the parts and all of that kind of stuff, we've already went over those in a video, but you guys know it's the AMD FX, it's the 9590 processor, we paid a buttload for it. You can get it for a much better deal now, and by the end of the video, you'll probably say, hmm, this is probably worth it. We have an AMD card by PowerColor in there. This is the 7970 gigahertz edition. Looks nothing like it did though, as you guys can see now. We've got water cooling on it by Swift Tech, and we've also got that very cool Ferrari logo all on the back side. We've got a Neutron by Corsair, 240 gigabyte SSD completely hid on the back side. We've got a three terabyte Seagate drive in there. We've also got a lot of memory by the people over at Kingston. This is their HyperX memory. I think we've got 32 gigabytes in this bad boy. So this machine's really geared to run fast. Now, now, Anthony totally custom built this thing. You guys can see it's totally badass. It's got switches for lights. I mean, you can turn it off, turn it on. Originally, we wanted to use this switch to like turn the entire system on. We were trying to get it to go, but it didn't work that way. But now at least makes a nice shiny, cool little red light, you know? But let's jump in now and let's look at some of the performance of this system. Now, even though we have the entire system water-cooled by Swift Tech, you guys will see that this CPU, when it pushes its limits, is running very, very hot. We didn't spend a lot of time testing the video card out, but we had no problems with it, but you will see that this CPU, when pushed, runs rather hot. So without this water cooling system, I don't really think that uh, we would get the results that we were getting. I think it would probably go burr, burr, and crash out. But with that said, let's jump in now and let's check out some of the scoring on the Ferrari 9590. First up, we have Geekbench 3.0 64-bit with the single core score of 2,775. Next up, we have the multi-core score at 14,002. Next, we have Cinebench R15 with OpenGL at 105.46 frames per second and the CPU at 428 CB. PC Mark 7 Basic had a score of 5,399. Bioshock Infinite at 2560 by 1440. We see it at 58.48 frames per second. And at 1920 by 1080, we see it at 84.86 frames per second. Next up, Metro Last Light. 2560 by 1440 score of 40.8 frames per second. 1920 by 1080 shows 60.73 frames per second. The Witcher 2, 2560 by 1440 at 24 frames per second, and at 1920 by 1080, 37.4 frames per second. Last up, Crisis 3, 2560 by 1440 at 40.88 frames per second, and 1920 by 1080 at 56.76 frames per second. Now, those are the scores, but I know the big question in everybody's mind is like, damn, how hot was that CPU really running? Okay, between 37 idle and 105 under full load. So you know that thing's really running hot when it's at 105 Fahrenheit. That's some really hot stuff. So, you know, in Celsius, it's like, whoa, use your translator, but it's way up there. Now, before I bounce out of here, though, I'd like you guys to give a big shout out to the people who made this video possible, and that is Squarespace.com. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with them, if you've been looking to, like, make yourself a website, but Squarespace offers this really easy and intuitive way to just quickly bang out and have a really professional website. We made one for our music. It's techofmarmusic.com. If you guys want to check that out, you guys can check that out. We actually made that using their platform. So it's very, very easy to use. Squarespace has 20 templates to choose from to start you off and is constantly improving their platform with new features and designs. If you run into issues along the way, don't worry. You can take advantage of their 24 hour a day, seven days a week tech support team who are ready to help you get your site up and running smoothly. Pricing starts at just $8 a month with a free domain if you sign up for a year. So if lately you've been going, hey, I really would like to have my own website, it's 
sounds like something I want to do, go over and check this out. You guys can use the code TOT12 in the checkout. And not only do you guys get a trial period, but you also get 10% off if you decide that you want to use their service. Now, we thought this was very, very simple and easy to use. If you're a person who doesn't want to go out and spend a lot of money on a website, you just want some nice, easy thing that you can use for your own blogging and that type of thing, you guys should really check this service out. I'm Elric. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more tech this holiday season.